Black Myth Wukong on PlayStation 5. Yes, they used FSR and not TSR. Why? <laughs> this is an interesting question, right, Alex? Because uh, obviously yeah. with the benchmarking tool that came along, I tested um, FSR and TSR. And TSR was produced. I mean, it wasn't perfect. It had issues of its own, but it was clearly better than FSR. Why do you think that FSR was used in the console version? Uh, well, if they did want to use frame gen, if they were using an older version of frame gen, it would have required FSR if it wasn't yep. FSR 3.1. So that could be one of the reasons. Um, they also could have had FSR in their previous build version of the game that was still on Unreal Engine 4 and they just kept it. Um, uh, because they upgraded to UE5 mid development. There's even reports about that online, like we switched to UE5. Um, and also UE5.0, which is what this appears to be based on for a lot of evidence. Um, just the way Lumen works, the way Nanite works, uh, the EXE of the game. Uh, TSR should be more expensive in the original version of UE5.0. It didn't have uh, Xbox Series X and PS5 specific optimizations put in yet. Mm. Uh, and that could be a reason to use FSR performance and just the availability. I do think it's a bad decision uh, still. Like um, TSR, even in its less than great state, which Oliver showed, mm. um, you know, it's still better for a number of key image quality aspects versus FSR. And I, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's just the kind of way it is. I really hope they do also just give user control about that sharpening, which doesn't make any sense on PS5 the way it's used, and it just is so bad looking on PC in comparison to how the game could look. So, yeah, I hope there's a lot that's done. Okay. And to that point, Alex, on PC, you can mix and match the frame gen with TSR. So, that could oh, be great. Yeah, that could be the case in consoles as well. But, I would really stress the TSR in Black Myth Wukong, it's not the TSR you used to. It's really not that good. Uh, to the point where I finished recording with Alex on Wednesday morning, I spent an hour and a half double checking that the quality mode was actually using FSR, not TSR. The particular scene that I have was that wolf fight, which I expected would bring out the worst in FSR and possibly the best in TSR. It looks so similar, like the aliasing presentation was so, so similar. Now, there are areas where TSR does better, absolutely. Like the full age presentation is a lot better. It's a lot less flickery. But for me in that scene, I was I was really struggling to tell the difference. I mean, it's not TSR, it's not a revelation in this particular game. In that context, it's got less ghosting, it's got less flicker, but it's, it's not a salve for this game. They really need to upgrade their Unreal Engine version or get the new version of TSR in there somehow. It's not, That'd be it's great. not gonna fix anything to uh, not mm -hmm. fix that much at least yeah mm -hmm. fair enough i just hope that we get to see some um, patches and improvements uh, further on down the line for this game because you know it, it seems like the fundamentals are kind of there but there's some weird really weird uh, decisions there and uh, i think you speculated oliver it's maybe because they're not so experienced with console development just the conventions of console development, like how do you compromise the game in the right way? How do you, what are the conventions of targeting frame rates and things like that? They're just not, they just pick totally different decisions than I've ever seen before. So it's just right. very unusual.